Hi guys, so I'm back. I've had my lunch and we're going to get this finished. I'm going to stop fl fluffing about and get it done. So, where are we up to? Here. So, I'm going to strengthen this, I think, because it's going to be um, a pocket. And we don't want a flimsy pocket. If I can get glue on there. I've just got to stop myself getting distracted by things that I see. It's Facebook is killing me lately. It keeps showing me all these um, articles in the Sydney Morning Herald and then I get um, wrapped up in, and I never do this. I never, ever, ever read, um, you know, when you, when newspapers, because I follow the Sydney Morning Herald and Channel 7 and I can't, on Sunrise, whatever, I don't know what, just so I keep informed with what's happening in my home country. And... Um, I never ever look at um, the comments that people write because I always see it just seems to become like a battlefield where people just think it's okay. A bit like sometimes I'm on YouTube's not like that. It can be, but it's not. It's not too bad. Um, but people seem to, you know, speak to people when they're hiding behind their devices. We know whatever the di device might be and think they can say whatever they want and be nasty. So I'll just dish this and then we'll continue. I just um, have been reading through some of the astounding comments that are, are put on there. It's just amazing, just amazing what the, some things that people people say. With I just I don't know with all the information that we have these days that we can get a well-rounded view on things rather than just you know blatantly listening to one report or something like that. People don't seem to get you know sort of inform themselves. So, um, yeah, I've just been amazed. So I don't want to read those things anymore because they're, they're kind of driving me crazy. So there we go. We've got one pocket there. Now, this should be dry now, so I can see if I can. Oopsie. Mm -hmm. Dropped it. Oh, dear. Old lady. There we go. Okay. So I wanted to see if I could um, tuck in here if I didn't put too much glue. I don't want that colour. See if I could tuck, not that, something under there. Let's just see if that could be a tuck. I think I glued it too much, but no, it's not going to tuck that. But um, we might be able to tuck this one because that's just a tag, you see. Yeah, that'll tuck in there. That'll do. Um, I'd like to get a bit of lace going somewhere. We've got this. I've just glued this down, so we won't put anything there. Um, and again, we might to see what will fit there so that could fit there so I'll slip that in there so that we not so I know what I've got to do I might not be able to create spots for all of these let's have a look here so here we could put what would we like to see there maybe we'd like to see this one no I think I'd like to see something else not that one this color I get those colors I like more and something else do we think something Floral could tuck in there as well. So that's that. That's that's all done. So how many more do we have? We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Go, I've got to do seven, seven pockets. So I've got one. That one's already done. I was meant to glue it there. What a goose. I thought I was gluing it on the wrong spot. I couldn't remember. So this is... Um, hmm... Could I glue something there? Do I? Oh, I also pulled out, didn't I? I pulled out some some scrapbooking papers. They're good things to do as pockets. Oh, and I forgot to bring my other. I quite like this. Yes, this is a good colouring. Um, I quite. I forgot to bring in my other. Um, that would be quite pretty there. What's on the other side? 
like it there. That's quite, um, you can see that's quite brittle paper. I would do some collaging on there and, and then write or decorate it or something like that, probably. More so than put a pocket. So what do we, oh, we could put a pocket here. I need something a little bit more decorated. Oh, and that's also the right width. I think I'll put that one there. So um, what I need to find is this here and just eyeball it, snip that out and put some glue and then we'll have a pocket there for a tag. Sometimes I like to um, just glue in my pockets and things and other times, I, as you know, I like to stitch them in. It just depends what I feel like doing at the time. Just make sure it sticks down and I'll just, um, what other tags do I have? I have that one. I think I'll slip that one in that one. And we'll just flip it over so I need to st it to stick down there is where it needs to stick. And then I might come back and, and put a cluster somewhere here and there. Um, that's super pretty there, I think. So I need to, oh, first I might, where's my trimmer? Mm -hmm. It's on the floor here. So I have just trimmed, oops, I crashed into it. I've trimmed a little bit off there and I'm going to snip that out so you can see that it's a pocket. Um, and I really like those colours, so I am going to put that there. Okay. one of those will fit in there and I think possible or oh, not that one I wouldn't put that one in there because I've got that um, sort of shooting out the side but I might put that one in there and then we might have something we have some where are, where's the center so now we can go on a bit further we have something here what will we put there Just having a think. What have we got here? Yes, I would quite like that. So I'm going to tear this. And I'll probably tear it down a bit more. Made it a bit narrower because our, our book is narrow, you see, and that's going to be nice there. Um, and I'm going to put it on here, but I need to put a background as well to create my pocket. But I want to tear this down to, so I need to, I'm going to tear, a bit of a messy crafter today, tear this off. Actually, I'm just thinking, I will do this pocket, but I'm going to put it somewhere else. I'm thinking I might um, do a lacy pocket. And I need to, I want to keep it narrow. I don't want it to be, actually don't need to. I want it, I want it to be like a side tuck pocket. So I'm actually just going to glue that on and then stitch around it. But I'm not going to put it on that page. I'm going to put it on a different page because I'm going to put some lace there, I think. 
because otherwise I'll have all similar types of pockets in the first half of the book and then different types of pockets in the other half of the book, if you know what I mean. And yep, I've got the rough edge overhanging, which is good. And I'll stitch around that with a zigzag quickly. Okay, and then, so I said I was going to put some lace here, so I need to find a lace that I would like as a pocket there that's, I don't want it with too many, something like that, oh yeah, that's pretty. I don't want too many, I need my good scissors, too many holes in it or anything like that, because then it becomes hard to, to slip things in. I'm just I just sort of guess where I'm going to put my glue oh yeah I have to remember to buy wet ones see I'd already forgotten since the last session and that was only like an hour ago Oh, they don't need wet ones, do I? I don't really need them. I can, I can, um, what did I want to say? I can pick two tags for the second half. I can, um, that might, mm, that might struggle to fit in there. Might struggle. Mm-hmm. Don't know. Well, I might move that one over here. Oh, yeah. And move that one. No, that one won't go. I can move this one here. Oh, yes, that fits. Yeah, okay. Switched it. Okay, so now we're in the centre. And I need to think about putting my pockets there we go this one can go there and I think that I really do like that and I'm going to glue it down here and just leave that open I'll just put a bit of glue on those bits so they don't get caught And I'm not having them overhang because um, that edge is, well, a little bit, but that edge is white, so I don't want it to overhang. Okay. And this tag can go there. And then put something there. We've got three more things. So we better put something here, I think. Yep, because that's a good writing side. I'm going to put it on this page rather than that one because that's old, older and more brittle. And I'm probably, I'm thinking I might do another Mrs. Cog. Not those colours, I don't think. Let me see here. Oh, yeah, I like these um, naturals and the blues, I think, are going, I like with this project. So I think I'll get this naturals one. And you know what I might do? I might make it a belly band.
I'm a bit crooked there. Yep, that's going to be a belly band. But I will strengthen it as well. And because I've, I've got heaps and heaps and heaps of book pages. So I'm going to glue that down. So I just saw my sister has posted on Marguerite's group um, her number six. So she's now officially ahead of me. I don't think I've done number six. I might do that tomorrow. Okay. Okay, so I'll stitch around that quickly. Put some glue top and bottom so it's not quite as tall as the page but it doesn't matter and then I was thinking this one can very nicely slip in there so that's that one I've got two more so I'm going to do one more sort of um, one more pocket and one more lace pocket, I think. Okay, or a belly band. We could have another belly band. So I think I'll do another lace. I've just got to find one that I'd like to include there. What's that? Oh, that was given to me. I love this. This is one of my faves. It's that way. Put that one there. And I might let it overhang just a little bit. Wrong scissors, Rachel. Oh, let me just sort of eyeball about how far up to put my glue. Overhang a bit. There we go. Okay. And uh, Okay, so I put that one in there, I think. And I need to create a pocket. I could attach that there. Or no, I think I'll put a I'll put another pocket in here. I think I'll put something here. I'll put a Oh, Steph's dad's on the phone asking questions, not understanding what he's doing. <laughs> so funny. I might make a tuck. Let's make a um a lacy sort of tuck. That's what I do. I need my. I like to start with my old book page. Okay, so I put that on there. There you go, you get an instant nice base. And then we might have a little bit of this. This is just some tea dyed, or coffee dyed, no, I think this is tea dyed paper. 
We'll have some of that. We'll get some of Steph's paper. Good way to use up your scraps. Let's see. Might put it that way. Yeah, I like those colours. They're doing well with our theme, I think. Or my theme. So if you don't um, use a sewing machine, obviously you can just glue. You just make sure you glue down everything sort of firmly. Okay. And then what? I'd have a bit of textile, I think. I like this one. Even It needs a bit of an iron, but it, it's not too... It's not too bulky. Yep. And then what do I want? Let me have a look what I've got floating around. Hmm. Here, is there anything? I wonder if I tore that. As I, as we always, a lot of us say this um, with the digitals. The nice thing about them, you can just tear bits. And um, I like that more. I know it's covering up that, but you know, you change your mind. That's what happens. No, I think I like it on top. I'm actually going to stitch that. And then I want to see what do I have. Ooh. Mm, quite like that. Okay, put some glue. I like that just a minute. I might like to put, I've got it on the floor here. Um, this one. I might like some of this as well. There we go of a mishmash but I like it because it sort of um, stays with, within the colour scheme and I just need to I'm gonna actually do a straight stitch and I'm just going to whiz around in circles Make sure it's all stitched down together. I need to go down there. I don't want that gaping bit there. Okay. So we've got a little plastery sort of thing here. I mean, these things would be... We should do have a session making these. They're quite often quite hard, aren't they? That one worked. But then when you start making a whole lot of them, you sort of... They're quite... Um, you know, got to concentrate making them. So I need to, I've lost my tag that I wanted to, I'm making this for. Tag, journaling card, whatever. Where's it gone? I 
think I put it in here somewhere, didn't I? I did. Yep, I think that's going to be nice there. So we'll use the PVA just because it's a bit stronger. Glue that down there. Okay, and that will go in there. Now, this is pretty much done. So the only last thing I need to do is decide, do I want um, some string? I think I might use sari silk. I just like the, the feeling of the sari silk. So I want it double. needs to be double. I like the double look and then it will, and this is how I'm measuring it. it. needs to go around twice and tuck in. So I need to make it a little bit longer. Get that through that little hole in there. And then I'm going to tie a knot here in the end. Just I just pull them up. I just went like this with my hand just to make sure it's sort of all even. So I don't have any sort of, you know, like I didn't have it like that or something like that. And then that will, so that will wrap around. But what we need to do first is put everything in their spot. So that one's just tucking in there very loosely. That one's going to slip in there. Well, let's do a flip through while we do that. So at the front, we've got our pocket here and we've got um, this. And I haven't put anything in there, but I will put something in there. And then at the back, we've got just this nice big tag that just fits nicely in there and it's botanical. And that wraps around. We'll do that afterwards. And so we'll go through here and see what we've got. We've got the old book page printed on um, coffee dyed paper. This tag is tucking in here. That tag in there. And then a lot of really nice old yummy book pages in here. Now that's from the 70s, but we like the type. And that's from the 70s too, I think. These, these are from the early 1800s. And then there's that one. And that's a magazine from 1900 that I have. And that's a medieval mirage. I can't remember that book. I don't know. That book might be early 1900s, that one. I liked, I just kept it because of the colour. So that's going to slip in there, the tag. We've got tea dyed paper, medieval mirage. This tag can slip in here. Hopefully it fits. <gasps> just, okay, I'll solve that problem. Just trim a little bit off on both sides. Should fit, should, yep, okay, so that goes in there, cute, and then that's a, a um, what do you call it, a um, botanical book, this was a, like a natural phenomenons book, that one, and then this one's going in here, hopefully it's dry, oh I like that, and then we've got the colouring in page, Got this pocket here, I really like that too. Little birdie peeking out the top. Belly band. Slip that in there now. That won't have any troubles. And with it, when I put them in a belly band, quite often if I've got a tab on the side, I like that so you can pull it out with that. Tea dyed paper, medieval mirage. And then this one can slip. I love these. There we go. It's a fairly simple journal. And then that one's going in that tuck. Now that probably is not quite dry, but we'll just put it in like that. And then tea dyed paper and straw paper. And then here we've got these two tags, or journaling card and tag. 
And then here we've got the big long tag I made the other day. That's just decorated like that. And then we close it and it is done. So then hopefully, because I've made it pretty chunky now, and that can slip under there. And if you want to shorten it, you can. So that's how it closes. And then hopefully it will fit in here because I've made it fatter than it was meant to be. Hopefully. Oh, I need to put my closure on there too. We'll do that. So that's going to slide in there and it does fit. And it goes. And then I need to close this. And I'm going to use this, I think. This is that hemp one. Yes. So again, I'm going to just get an amount off. This is precious, this stuff. So I would put it in there. I, don't need, I want it to wrap around twice, I think. Just. Okay. Good. So just make sure it's the same length. I'm going to loop it in here. The nice thing about having an eyelet in there is that you don't have to worry about it ripping your paper. And then I'm just going to tie, put my knot. That's just to keep it all together. Squish this closed and pull it tight and wrap it around three times. And just I'm going, just going to, oh, I could have wrapped it around there but I think I'll just go like that there we go so there is the folder with the journal complete so I hope you enjoyed that project it was super fun to make and I will hope you have a great weekend I'll probably be back tomorrow and I will see you again soon bye